It is literally 1.35 in the morning. Dove's picked us up. Dove is one of my best friends. I go back with him to college. I was like, Dove, listen, we have to deliver a show for CBS. So it's like, this is legit. So what does Dove show up with? After we say our goodbyes? A uh, six rack of bud. I'm gonna stop here and get some more beers. I would have driven to LA to, to pick you guys up if I had to, so I'm just happy to be of service to you. But in all honesty, I'm looking forward to getting rid of you guys so you guys can keep going on your journey. More than anything, I look forward to having fun with you guys for two days, but after that, you guys are on your asses. I don't care if you guys are thumbing outside of my house, you guys are on your road. For what, four, almost five hours of driving? Yeah. Don't got us home safe. Yeah. 5 a.m. on the dot. Where we are right now, the guy who I won the amazing race with, Chris Luca, this is where he lives. And I have a key to his house. By the way, I think I've slept, um, seriously, maybe six hours since I left New York. And that's not even a joke. You know what, the real Jolt, I think, slept three. Oh, man. Oh, it does. I thought it didn't work. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, I thought, like, when Luke was like, yeah, I crashed my house, I thought... All right, Joel, this is our place, dude. <laughs> oh, my I, I, I think this is in the spirit of around the world for free. Oh, my God. I mean, look at that. He's doing a little construction on the house. I didn't understand that he didn't even have a house. Dude, this is like some shit from the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> Do you really need to tow this many bricks around the world? I told you, man. <laughs> Can't tell if this silence is uncomfortable. 6 a.m., and I'm up again, taking these guys to their live cast for CBS. Joel, what's going on, bud? <laughs> Getting ready in like uh, 15 minutes, we got to call in to CBS for our first live video hookup. So, you know, we brought two knapsacks this time since it is a network broadcast. <laughs> Just humbly throwing it all together, connecting all the different pieces, which there are many. Dude, what are you thinking so far? I'm just honored that that you guys asked me to join the crew because of my unbelievable work ethic. Well, the thing with this is that every one of these components is critical. You have to connect like one to two to three to four all the way to like 16 components, all of which actually fits in an app sack. So when you pull it off at the end, you're like, wow, I just did an amazing thing. But you forget one thing and it brings your whole production down. And when you're going on 22 plus hour days, the stress of packing thing for, for each one of these installments is, is huge. This unit is not meant for deployment in the field. It was designed with deployment in a Fortune 500 boardroom and designed with the idea of having a nice big computer monitor to connect it to, to have the return, of the signal and all that. Conven modern conveniences in essence. But we said no, we're gonna take it to Kilimanjaro State Park and uh, that posed a few problems. Um, <laughs> um, the great thing is that at CBS we really have um, our partners in the engineering department and uh, from hanging out on the roof of their building in Manhattan to, you know, an early Saturday morning phone call from Jacksonville, Florida. They are, they've been our partners and uh, supporting us all the way, so. My question is this about this lamp that Jerry pulled in for this. What are we gonna do when we're in like Columbia? I don't have a lamp, you know what I mean? Well, it's just a small little portable unit, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking, um, Cause I think you can fit in your nap sack, can't you? Can you bring it? I you can, you if a... you can take care of the stand. Alex, just two minutes before you go in front of the eye of the world. Uh, you want me to call in on mine? You call, you call the IFB, I'm gonna call the, 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 the room. Do one more five count. One, two, three, four, five. CBS viewers know Alex Boylan as the winner of The Amazing Race 2. Well, Alex is now on a new adventure. He joins us live from Jacksonville this morning. Good morning to you, Alex. Hey, how you guys doing? So any idea where you're headed next, Alex? <laughs> Honestly, not really. We'll decide, we'll decide tomorrow. And um, we just go to the web, we check it, and whoever says, come here, that's where we go. So we're, we're going to keep heading south and, and get into the Caribbean. So it's really up to the audience of, of how I do that. Awesome. And thank you for joining us via the web this morning. We will see you next Saturday from wherever it is that you wind up. All right. Thank you, guys. See ya. We're going to analyze it and see how we can, we can fix the lip sync issue. So are we, are we out? Can I cut? Okay, see you next week. Okay, bye.
I definitely feel this though. Like um, when I was talking to them, that we just need to think creatively. Like, granted, we're going to test some things out today, but we need to get out of the country. I've been with that. Yeah, I've been saying the same way. She's like, she's, I mean, you could tell they're like, oh, this is awesome. You guys are all the way to Jacksonville, but you could tell they're definitely. They want. She's like, she's like, she's like, you guys can get out of the country soon, right? I'm like, yeah. Jerry's our, our mentor. We're about to take off tomorrow. Is there anything you could get some sleep? Drinking in moderation. No, you guys are going to be great. You're going to be great. I'm, I've always, you know, I've always had great confidence in both of you. And I think it's such a great team. And I want everybody to know it's just the two of them. There's no boom operator. There's no camera crane. There's no dolly. There's no Hollywood set. It's two little guys out there in the world. So don't kid yourself. This is small, small crew. Anyway, good luck. I'm going to miss you.